Hi guys, it's Molly Steele. Welcome back to my channel. So, I am a complete dum dum, and the reason I'm filming this right now is because I deleted my footage from my phone. So, yesterday I filmed a wear test slash first impressions of the new Wet n Wild, whoops, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So, I have all the footage for that I use with this camera. But the ones I use with my phone, I was a dum dum and I deleted because I vlog with my phone. Vlog channel link down below. So I vlog, vlog with my phone and then when I'm done editing it and I have it on my computer, then I erase the footage. So I edit it on my phone and I of course didn't put in the two clips where I was doing check-ins with the foundation. So um, anyway, so I put up my vlog and all that kind of stuff and I went through and I deleted all my footage from yesterday forgetting that the two were in there and it is gone. But if it makes you feel any better, I also basically passed out to the gym and on top of that, I almost brushed my teeth with soap this morning because instead of grabbing my toothpaste, I grabbed the hand soap. So if that makes you feel any better about me being dumb dumb, just shows how out of it I am today. So I rushed upstairs. It is three o'clock right now. Um, if I want to get a good eight hours of wear, I gotta put on right now. So I'm still gonna be doing the wear test. You guys are technically missing out on the first impressions. I mean, technically, you know, I'm gonna do that. I do. I do have my first impressions uh, uh, recorded, so I will have it at the end if you want to see my initial first impressions. So I am going to reapply the foundation today and I'm going to be doing check-ins with you guys. But um, if you guys want to see my initial first impressions, stay to the end and I will have that clip there for you. So one thing I learned in my first impressions is that I do not like how it looks with a sponge. So I'm not using a sponge today, but I am taking the uh, e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer right here and um, I am going to apply that. applying some of this primer spray and then I'm going to be applying the foundation. The, my favorite thing um, as I learn my first impressions, I love applying it with a brush. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm using my Morphe M439 and then I believe I, I found out I was in the lighter shade. Yeah, the nude ivory, but um, I don't know. I mean, I did get a little color. We're going to go with nude ivory. You know, maybe I'll just mix, mix. Maybe I'll be cray cray and mix them. You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to mix them. So, um, I really like the spatula, which, you know, it seems weird, but I like it a lot. So, and then I also discovered that this was a buildable foundation. So, you can have medium coverage, you can have um, full coverage, whatever you want. So, Oh yeah, mixing them is perfect. Like, cause the, it matched me yesterday, but it just seemed a little light, but mixing them is perfect. Cannot believe I erased that, but you know what, it's okay. Cause I mean, I still have the uh, first impressions recorded, so I don't mind. That's really what I was worried about was like the first impressions. Cause I mean, I can do a wear test any day. But, you know, you can only get your first impressions once, you know what I'm saying? So I'm glad I still have that and that wasn't erased. One thing I do like about this foundation is it doesn't set as fast as some other ones I've used. So I have a lot of time to, like, work with it. Which I like. Alright, so here is the foundation on right now. I kind of like the coverage, how it is. I can always go in and add more um, if I want to, but I am happy with this, I think. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some concealer just so that, you know, we can see how it goes on top. Um, oh, wait, no, I'm gonna use my shape tape today. So, um, I like, I've been switching my concealers a lot. Like, I'm still just torn. Like, which one I like better. I love this, the color of this one, but I love how the other one feels, you know? I like how yellow this one can be. All right, so I'm not deleting the footage this time. <laughs> Man, that concealer just looks so good over top of it. I love how concealer sits on top of this foundation. All right guys, I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back to check in with you guys and then I'm gonna be checking with you guys throughout the day. I finished my makeup and I'm gonna go on with my day. I gotta change my shirt because this just does not match my makeup. I was feeling the Valentine's colors. Now I'm not feeling the shirt anymore, so I gotta go change. But um, I thought I'd just let you guys know, we'll see how everything is sitting on top of the foundation. Excuse my eyeliner today, it had a mind of its own. I'm just like, when I'm rushing, I'm, I don't know. 
Like, I used to be able to like, just kill my winged liner. Now it's like, it's a hot mess every day. I don't know what it is. I'm going through a phase. I'm gonna get past it. But anyways, so I'm gonna be checking with you guys throughout the day. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up at the end of it and stick to the end if you wanna see my first impressions from yesterday. But other than that, I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, um, it is currently 6.40. Uh, it's been about four hours, almost four hours since I applied the foundation. Let me turn the lights on so we can see, so. All right, this is like the best lighting we're gonna get. I'm sorry, the yellow base lighting, but it is looking good. Yeah, yeah, it's looking good, guys. I'm liking it. My skin looks smooth, it's not oily, it's not creasing too much, just no more. It's not creasing more than normal. In fact, it's creasing less than normal. Looks good. Okay, you guys, it is like 11.30 at night. I am ready to take my makeup off. Um, yeah, I'm ready to take my makeup off. I want. I only did like, yeah, I think I only did one check-in during the day and I mean, I didn't really do too much but clean the house. So, I mean, there wasn't anything too exciting going on. Um, yeah, and I guess I will tell you guys how my foundation held throughout the day. And I just say that it held up even better than yesterday. Um, but of course, I did do a crazy workout yesterday with my foundation on it and held up like a bitch. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, look at this, you guys. So this is after, so it's like 11, like, well, I think, yeah, 11.09. Um, yeah, so it has been on for eight hours and I, let me zoom you guys in. So, um, <laughs> you guys, it's funny. It's great, it's great. I mean, I do have some foundation transfer, I mean, uh, mascara transfer, but that has nothing to do with my foundation. Uh, creasing is minimal. In fact, it has held up better than most of my other foundations. It still is like full. I mean, I do have a little bit, a little bit has disappeared right here, but I'm notorious for like leaning. So that's kind of my bad. But right here, some of it has disappeared. But other than that, it still just looks so smooth and pretty. Like I could honestly like spray my face down with a spray, take a sponge, and just kind of bounce over everything and it will look even better. Just to kind of, you know, refresh it up and press it back into the skin. I mean, I think it looks great after how long I've been wearing it, so yeah. This foundation is great, you guys. I love this foundation so freaking much like this is my new baby i'm so excited i need to get this in so many different other shades because when i move to hawaii i'm gonna get a lot darker yes i move into hawaii um, i'm gonna be living there for about three years minimum um so i'm gonna get a lot darker just from naturally living on an island so i'm gonna have to get some darker shades because i am not buying in hawaii it's gonna be so expensive i hear everything's expensive there but yeah so i'm really excited i love this foundation Five bucks, boom baby. Anyway, so if you guys have tried this foundation, let me know down below what you think. And if you haven't tried this foundation, go to the store, go to the store, get it right now. I got mine from Walmart, so usually it's like $4.99 at the drugstore, or like five bucks. Mine cost four dollars and sixty-eight cents at Walmart, so go check your Walmart, it's always cheaper there. And yeah, I love it so much. Um other than that, that will be everything for this video. If you want to see my initial reaction to the foundation, keep watching past my outro um, because, you know, I'll at least show you the clip of my first impression since you didn't get to see my first impressions in this video. Or at least this part of the video. But other than that, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, my name is Modesty Jean. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos and stick around for more videos. And I think that's everything, so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Let's start with light because I am light. This is like light medium. So we will do this one. Do you like pull it off or do you like twist it off? This isn't coming off. I don't understand. Am I broken? Hang on. Oh, okay. It was just stuck. Okay. Yeah, that matches me. Okay, so this one is in nude ivory. So I'll do the 
beauty sponge side. I'm not using my beauty blender today. I'm not using my beauty blender today because it's dirty. I'm using my Morphe one, which isn't my favorite, but you know, whatever. So I like the, I like this little spatula for some reason. It's kind of cool. All right. So today I'm going to be doing check-ins with you and just to see how it wears. Yeah, this is like my perfect. Mm, might be like a tea bit too light, but whatever. All right, so right now, I would say this is sheer coverage. This is sheer coverage with the sponge. All right, so that is one layer. Hmm. I feel like it's like emphasizing like, hmm. All right, let me go in with the brush on the other side. I'm not sure how I feel about that. All right, I'm gonna take my 3D HD Kabuki brush. Right, so so far I like it better with a brush. It didn't. I did not like it with a sponge at all. I mean, maybe if I layered it, which I'm gonna do, but right now I'm liking it better with a brush. Which is funny because I know some people say they like it better with the sponge, but I just love how it looks with the brush. It looks so. Oh wow. Okay, so I don't like, and I like. You see the difference? Like it just looks so much better with a brush with my skin. Like this is just smooth looking, and this is just. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try one more layer with the sponge. Maybe it's just because it sheared it out. Let's see, so I'm putting it on the back of my hand this time. I'm living for that little spatula in there. Okay, let's try this again. So maybe it's just because it sheared it out. If that's the case, then I don't mind because it's true sponges do shear out your foundation. Unless you use the still sponge. Still like the brush side better. It doesn't look as bad on this side now, but I just, and it's true, there are some <laughs> um, foundations that to me just look better with a brush. 